Okay, so in today's video, we're going to have a look at substitution. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to get started. So this video here, uh, we're going to look at substituting positive and negative values in, but this first one here is just looking at some positive values. So it says work out the value of 5x plus 2y when x is 3 and y is 2. So 5x means 5 lots of x, and 2y means 2 lots of y. So if x is 3, uh, all we need to do is sub that in, and when y is 2, we'll sub that in as well. Now I'm going to sub it in using brackets, and I do like this way. I use it quite a lot throughout some of my other videos, so I'm going to stick with that. So when I write 5 lots of x, I write that 5 lots of 3 in a bracket like that, as x is 3 over here. So that is then added to 2 lots of y, which is 2 lots of 2. So when we've got these numbers in the bracket, we've just got to multiply those out to find out what their values are. So 5 lots of 3 is 15 add 2 lots of 2 which is 4 and 15 plus 4 is 19 so there's our answer that is the value of 5x plus 2y there with these values so I'll look at another one okay so work out the value of 2x plus 3y when x is negative 4 and y is 5 and this is where I find writing these brackets really does start to help now so 2 lots of negative 4 2 lots of negative 4 add 3 lots of 5 and again, now we can get rid of the brackets now that we've substituted them in. So 2 lots of minus 4 is minus 8. I'm going to add to that 3 lots of 5, which is 15. And then we just need to complete the sum. So negative 8 add 15 is 7. So our final answer there is 7. So have a look at one more before you have a go. So p equals 3x minus 6y. Work out the value of p when x is negative 2 and y is 0 0.5. So it doesn't really matter what values we're given here. Uh, we're just going to sub them in like normal. But it just it's, this is phrased in a slightly different way. So it just says p equals at the start and find the value of p. So it's exactly the same thing, really. We're just going to sub in these values. So we've got 3 lots of negative 2. And we're taking away this time 6 lots of 0 0.5. So 6 lots of 0 0.5. Okay, so we'll just work this out step by step. So 3 lots of negative 2 is negative 6. And we're going to take away 6 lots of 0 0.5. So 6 times 0 0.5, or 6 halves, if you count them up, 1 half, 1, that's 2. 1 and a half, 2, that's 4 of them. And then 2 and a half, 3. So 6 lots of a half is 3. So we've got negative 6 take away 3. So negative 6 take away 3 is 9. And that's how you substitute values into an expression. Okay, so your turn to have a go. Here are the questions. So pause the video there, have a go at working out both of these two. Okay, so answers for these ones. So we have 3 lots of negative 3, and we're adding to that 5 lots of 4. There we go. So 3 lots of negative 3 is negative 9. 5 lots of 4 is 20, so it's negative 9. Add 20, which is 11. And there's our first one. On to the right. We have 2 lots of 5, 2 lots of x, take away 3 lots of negative 2. And if we get rid of these brackets here, so 2 times 5 is 10, take away 3 lots of negative 2, so negative 6. So we've just got to be careful here. And we could have looked at that as negative 3 times negative 6 and straight off written that as plus 6. Or we can look at it as take away the negative 6. Obviously remembering here that when you've got a minus, uh, minus a negative, that turns into a plus, so it's 10 plus 6, and 10 plus 6 is 16. So you just got to be very, very careful with your symbols here as well, not forgetting all those uh, rules for adding, adding and subtracting negatives. Right, let's have a look at something different. Okay, so work out the value of 2x plus xy when x is 5 and y is negative 3. Okay, so how are we going to approach this? Let's just sub things in as we, as we, as we uh, did on the previous questions. We've got 2 lots of 5, add... And then we've got x, y, which means x times y, or x, which is 5, multiplied by y, which is negative 3. So 5 lots of negative 3. Again, you could put a time sign in between them. But I'm just going to stick with using the brackets. So I, I, I like this method. So hopefully, if you haven't seen this before, it's something you can adopt. So working this out, 2 times 5 is 10. Add. And then we've got 5 lots of negative 3. Add negative 15. There we go, 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So 5 plus negative 15, again, not forgetting your uh, rules here, that's going to be a takeaway, adding a negative. So it's 10 take away 15, which becomes negative 5. 
There we go, so just watch out when you've got to sub the value in in two places. Look, we had to sub x in here and here, and we had x, y coming in here, so just remembering that there's a time sign in between them. Let's have a look at one more before we have a go. Okay, so we've got some squares going on in this. We've got work out the value of 2x squared and then take away y. So this is where the brackets really come into their own because when we sub this negative 3, and in particular if you're using a calculator, it's very important that you put them in a bracket. So we've got two lots of and then we've got negative 3 squared take away y oh sorry and y is given to us isn't it it's 10 so take away 10 okay so the first thing that I'd want to do is work out what this value of the bracket is so it's negative 3 squared which means negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 and a negative times a negative makes it positive so the answer is 9 so actually what we've got in the bracket there is 9 okay so once we square that it becomes 9 so we've got we can rewrite this we've got two lots of 9 take away 10 there you go and if you if you check that on the calculator if you type in negative 3 squared on the calculator it will give you the answer negative 9 and actually the answer is positive 9 and that's where you've got to make sure you put the brackets in because the calculator will then understand that it's a negative number and it doesn't want you to just square the 3 and then stick a negative next to it okay so you can always try that out on your calculator but it will only give you this value of positive 9 which we know the answer is if it's in a bracket there so 2 lots of 9 take away 10 is 18 take away 10 and 18 take away 10 just gives us the answer 8. So be very, very careful when you're doing these. Make sure that you just write it out very carefully. And remember, it's two lots of here, two times that value of negative 3 squared, which is 9. So it's two lots of 9. OK, some for you to have a go at. OK, so pause the video there and we'll go over the answers in a sec. OK, so here we go. 3x minus xy. So we have three lots of 2 take away. And then we have... 2 multiplied by negative 3 or 2 lots of negative 3. So if we expand this out now, 3 lots of 2 is 6, take away 2 lots of negative 3 which is negative 6 and then again we get this double negative scenario here so don't forget they turn into a plus. So we have 6 plus 6 which is 12 and there's our final answer for that one. Let's look at the second one. We've got the squared going on on this one again so we've got 3 lots of x squared so negative 2 squared plus 7 and let's work out what we've got here so negative 2 squared is minus 2 times minus 2 so this is just 4 so we've got 3 lots of 4 add 7 let's work that out so 3 lots of 4 is 12 add 7 to that gives us the answer 19 okay there's those two so I've got one more question for you to have a look at Okay, so here it is. Have a go at this question, pause the video, and I'll go over the answer in a sec. Okay, so work out the value of 2x squared minus 3x when x is negative 4. Let's see what we get here. So we have 2 lots of negative 4 squared take away 3 lots of negative 4. And let's just work through this nice and slow. So negative 4 squared becomes 16, negative 4 times negative 4. So let's just rewrite that. We have 2 lots of 16 take away 3 lots of negative 4 and 3 lots of negative 4 is negative 12 so take away let's just write it out slowly to start with let's just do 3 lots of negative 4 and now we can get rid of these brackets on this next step so 2 lots of 16 is 32 and we're going to take away 3 lots of negative 4 which is negative 12 there we go so we've got our double negative going on again so that's going to be a plus so we have 32 plus 12 and 32 plus 12 is 44. There we go, seems like a lot of steps there. Some of them you might be able to do in your head, but I just think it's really important just to make sure that you keep it all really nice and clear so you don't make any mistakes when you're doing these sorts of questions. But that's the end of the video. So if you found that useful, if it was helpful, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.